All right, this is uh, repeating the problem that you see on the screen, except that we're going to parameterize this part. Uh, tomorrow in the in the lab, I uh, will have the opportunity to do it as uh, how to show you how to parameterize an assembly and also how to create design table for assemblies. Okay, so uh, let me go and make the nominal part just like this is and. Uh, I should have saved the older one, but that's okay. We're not going to lose anything. So let's start with a part file. And right away, save it. File, save management. Save as. Desktop. New folder. Problem 5. Problem 5. Okay. All right. Okay, nominal part. So on this uh, vertical plane, I will sketch. You remember the steps? We did it already several times. Once in the class, twice uh, on once here. Okay, uh, let's make this thing symmetric. So the uh, I can say line, line, the middle axis symmetric, or I can do point, control, point, <coughs> middle axis symmetric. Or if I'm crazy enough, I can make a dimension here, angle dimension here, and angle dimension here, and say this is equal to that. It is possible. It's up to you. This, control that, and the middle axis. Oops, this point, control that point, control the middle axis. <coughs> By the way, notice that I had a problem picking these points because when I was trying to get it too small, it was picking something else. That's what this filter is for. You see that? User selection filter. If you click on the point here, and as you move this, as you move the cursor on the, the geometry, because you're filtering it, it only picks up the point. It becomes easier to do. Uh, that's fine. Symmetric. Very good. Now, uh, some dimensions were constant from here to here. Five inches was constant. So this and that. This is going to be constant five inches. Let me change this thing to five. Another one from this axis to that edge, 5. Okay. And now uh, uh, the construction circle. Remember the center of that, uh, those two smaller circles is going to be on this. So let's turn that into construction. And now we don't want a construction anymore. We go ahead and create our circles. Centered there. There we are. And center there. There we are. All right. Now let us uh, uh, put dimensions here that we want to control, basically, not through a design table, though. So this is one of the parameters. This is going to be one of the things we want to control, R1. And this is going to be R2. And this is, this is going to be R. This angle is going to be, I believe, later on... Uh, I'll call this thing beta and this is going to be alpha alpha exit pad it and we say okay now all right so uh, notice that when i was doing design table i went to f of x i went to f of x i click on this and i rename all these dimensions this is not what i'm going to do though i'm not going to rename things down here you see down here down here, there is a, a box which says new parameters. And the type right now is length, but you can change it to angle, eh, you know, a bunch of other stuff. We're, we want to keep it as length because it's going to be three length parameters, R1, R2, and R. So let me create my first one. So I'm going to create my first new parameter of the type length. You click on this, and I don't want to call it length one. I'm going to call it R. That R is going to be this radius. So instead of being zero, which makes me panic later on, it could make me make me panic later on. Let me use something close to this number. I can even use the same thing. Let me, let me select this and see whether 
no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> I was trying to do to minimize my work, but uh, that was a bad idea. Let's try it again. Click on f of x, new parameter. Uh, what do we call it? Uh, uh, r r. Okay, so it's going to be this r that I created. Where is it? Where I, I did create it. Let me see for a second. Renamed. I guess I didn't. Uh, Created. Let's try try it again. New parameter of type length. Click on it. Oops, it was right here, actually. Right there. Alright. This value R, I want it to be 5.6. I should not have done that. Because you might say what's going on. So here, this is the second one that I created. I don't want it to be length two. I want it to be, for example, this is R1. Okay, that is R1. So right now it says that uh, Oh, this one was the diameter, so I put a radius equal to 5. Or should I put a 2.5 here? That's okay. You select this thing, make it 2.5, roughly 2.5. That's fine. Apply. Now go here. Uh, this is going to be my uh, R1, the circle on the right. And right now it says diameter is uh, 1.2. So let me make this thing about 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Apply. Another one, R2. R2 is the circle on this side, and right now it says 0.875, so the radius is around point, uh, I don't know, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So let me change this thing to 0.5. You can leave these things as zeros, but that's going to cause a problem for you initially because uh, uh, you will panic what happened to my circle, it disappeared, etc. Okay, apply. Now, the other two things, two parameters, are of the type angle. So let us change this thing. Use the pull, pull up menu, or pull down menu angle. And let's create our first angle parameter. Click on it. Let's call it alpha. That alpha is this angle. Currently, it's 50 degrees. So why don't we use that nominal value of 50 degrees, approximately. Apply. Another one, beta. Right now it says, I don't know, it looks like this is 58 degrees or something like that. So let's use something like 60. Apply. Now, because uh, I, wanna, uh, I want to uh, make the material, if I, if I wanted to, I don't have to, but if I wanted to make material and part name as parameters also then i have to go go and create them so let me let me say okay to close this because i don't think i ever put a material on that yep let's go ahead and do that dummy uh, metal aluminum dummy material on that okay so let's go back to uh, my f of x and show me all the renamed parameter these are the ones that are already created three length and two uh two uh angles okay so let's do another one of the type string string where's the string here uh, there must be somewhere on the top oh, oh string right there on the top right there okay string Let's call this thing, uh, create the first one. And let's call this thing my mat. My mat, my material. And nominally, right now, there's nothing. So why don't I call it gold, for example? Gold. Gold. Apply. And then another one for part name. So another one, I'll call it. Uh, uh, my name my part name okay and of course there's nothing there so let's call it uh, how about a001 serial number 001 apply all right good so what we have done at this point is created a bunch of parameters with numbers and some strings with you know some meaningful stuff and there is no there is no connection between the part that you see on the left side. So here's what you're going to do. I'm going to click on the part, the dimensions appear, and I'm going to select, for example, this guy, this dimension from the screen. 
and I'm gonna say this is equal to R remember that dimension that I picked is this and I want to say this is equal to R remember it is not R equal to it is this dimension that's equal to because when you say parameter you change the parameter the model should change so dimension is equal to the parameter because when you change the parameter part will change so you select this right and I say add a formula equal to I remember what the name was 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 R but if you don't remember it here's here's the way you can do that there's two ways one is to filter it according to rename parameter double click on this or for the people who are a little bit lazy you can expand the tree and right here select it from this, the tree see if you do it from there you have to double click R otherwise you have to type R you have to remember what it was or you're gonna pick it from there and it says equal to R see that okay all right so we created one equation let's take this guy and this guy should be equal to r1 so add a formula equal to either r1 you double click on this line or type r1 here or select it from the screen for if you're lazy okay now let's take the other the other radius this guy this should be r2 from the screen i'm picking this dimension here add the formula rename parameter this time i'm going to double click on this thing to convince you that it's going to put it up there this guy this angle this angle is going to be add the formula equal to beta the one on the right is 50 degree angle on this side add a formula rename parameter alpha okay now uh, okay so we select the uh, so let's uh, let's uh, uh, filter this thing with uh, with uh, uh, screen with uh, what do I mean let's say let's say all Okay, I want to, let me see for a second. Okay, I selected the part and filter it uh, with uh, strings. Okay, you can see that. I'm gonna select this line, aluminum, this line material, add a formula, equal to, rename parameter, and this was my mat, right? My mat. Okay, and part number, add a formula, equal to uh you can also pick it from here it doesn't matter you can do it from here name okay uh but uh right so i uh, can do it either double click this or select it from that let's try it yep right there and then we say okay and we say okay and we save everything so notice what happened here is that we have a bunch of parameters listed on the screen and I can go and change the stuff from here. For example, let's look at R. R was the distance from the center of these circles to the origin. So let's make this thing three, okay? Notice it changed. Let's make it smaller, one. Okay, what happens is that the curve becomes self-intersecting. You can randomly see, right there, you can see that, exit. So no problem just go and change a different different value different value for uh, uh for uh, uh what was it this this is the one that i changed so let's make it uh two there we are let's make it three just watch the screen there we are let's make it four you can see the circles these circles begin to move uh, further to the left r1 let's make it point uh, one very tiny tiny hole right there you can see that r2 we can make it uh one now remember if you put it on reasonable number the curve becomes self self intersecting and uh, it's almost touching it almost if i make it if i make this thing 1.5 it's going to cause a problem there okay you know what happened uh, so let's go change this thing uh, to one point uh, one word so i'll use a one there we are. As a matter of fact, if I make this thing too big, 
Let's see what happens. If I make it R equal to 5 or 7, you'll notice that this circle actually will move out of, out of this part because this was fixed at 5 inches. <laughs> it will move probably, so let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's not R1. I think I changed R1. What I intended to do was to change R. So it's, R, it's not R2 that I wanted to change. R2 uh, still back to, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 1, whatever. That's okay. But it's the R that I wanted to change. The distance from the center of this to that point. Almost. I wanted to make it a big number so that the circle will move outside. Yeah, there we are. And there's the other circle, by the way. Just uh, There's the other the other hole you see that it's no, no longer a hole uh, because I may put it outside of that uh, drawing so let's put it back where it was uh, four roughly there we are all right folks let's try actually our material gold uh, I don't want gold right now the material is gold so let's say brass brass notice that the material changed to brass and uh, of course this is important it's just a name change the properties are also going to change and uh, let's try another one. Uh, change this thing to uh, steel. See that? It changed. And change the name. Uh, for example, my, uh, I don't know, serial number, serial number 567. 456. <laughs> there we are. Serial number 456. Okay, so this is our first uh, example of parameterizing a, sol a, a part. I will do another one probably in the lab tomorrow quickly, and then we move on to uh, same stuff for assemblies and uh, which are several parts are involved.